Hi there, this is Siva Sivakumar, founder and CEO of Vibrant. Welcome to this brief overview of Vibrant Rental Management System. Vibrant is a total cloud rental management system that includes a comprehensive web application and a functionality rich mobile application. Vibrant integrates with accounting systems like Xero, MYRB, and QuickBooks Online. It also integrates with payment gateways such as Stripe and eBay. So let's see how this accounting system integration works. For example, to integrate with accounting systems such as Xero, initially you would click connect to Xero and that would establish the link between Vibrant and Xero. Now, Vibrant integrates with key data in your accounting system, such as inventory items, your general ledger accounts, your contacts, customers, and suppliers, your tax codes, payments, and any tracking categories or jobs or classes in QuickBooks Online. This integration makes it easy to use your existing data in your accounting system and make it easy for your users to start preparing quotations and rentals immediately. Next, we will look at how Vibrant organizes your rental calendar on a daily basis. When you log into Vibrant, the first calendar screen that you will see. The calendar gives you a lot of information, such as rentals going out, they are in blue color. Rentals coming back, that are rental returns, they are in red color. And a few other things as well. Depending on who you are, you can switch on or off whichever options you wish to see. For example, if you are the business owner and want to see everything, you can tick on all of these options. However, if you are one of the warehouse staff who is only interested in rentals going out and rentals coming back, then you can switch off all the other options that you do not wish to see. Vibrant also includes reminders for your rental equipment. For example, if you have rental equipment such as a scissor lift or a telehandler or a um, transportation truck or something, you can have this reminder of the registration details or any calibration or the next servicing due, etc. And these are shown in yellow in color. Also, Vibrant shows you very clearly if your rentals have been invoiced or not. If they do not have any tick box next to the rental entry, then it means that rental has not been invoiced. This is how the calendar works in Vibrant. One of the key things that any rental business needs to know is whether you have sufficient quantity of your equipment, be it furniture, be it scaffolding, be it forklifts, be it mobility equipment. You want to know whether you have sufficient stock available whenever you get inquiries from your customers. Let's see how this looks in Vibrant. The stock view screen clearly shows you how your availability is for any period. For example, in February 2023, this is the availability of all your equipment. This Genie Tele Handler, we have two available to rent. One goes out for an extended period, and so we have only one remaining. Now let's see what's the availability for future months. Suppose the inquiry is for March then let's see what is available in March. The system simply tells you that one telehandler that went out comes back on the 6th of March, and therefore we have two available from 7th of March onwards. 
if you have none available, then vibrant will show the entry in red and in zero color. Once you have ascertained that you do have sufficient quantity available, you can put together quotes in Vibrant. So let's see how we can prepare a quote very, very quickly in Vibrant. In Vibrant, preparation of a quote is very easy. You simply specify who the customer is and what you're quoting for. So you can specify who the customer is, simply select the customer, and you can have your billing address, and you can have your delivery or shipping address. For example, this is the head office you're billing, and then this is where the equipment are being delivered to. So you can have different addresses for different purposes. Now you can specify what kind of equipment you're renting or, or you're quoting for. So you can select your equipment. So I can say, all right, I wish to search for some equipment. I can look at it by photograph. I can look at availability. And the system tells me that I have these quantities available for this date period. And I can simply select one and I can use it for my quotation. If I want, I can add extra charges such as delivery or installation and other things. These are called custom charges in Vibe. And once you have the quotation ready, you can simply email the quotation to your customer. You can have different templates with different purposes. You can upload your terms and conditions or any rental agreement. So you can upload your terms and conditions in Vibrant. And you can simply click send email and the quotation will be sent to your customer as a PDF attachment to an email. And the email will look like this. It will include the template and includes a PDF. The PDF will have your logo. It has the quotation details, including the amount, and the terms and conditions of rental. All your client or customer needs to do is simply click accept quote. When they are happy with your proposal or quotation, they can put in their purchase order number or any other reference details, and they can simply sign off on it. They can also verify the rental agreement and terms and conditions here, and they can simply accept the quote. You will be notified via email that the quotation has been accepted. This is how you prepare quotations in Vibrant. Next, we'll see how to prepare rentals in Vibrant. In Vibrant, you can create short-term and long-term rentals. So let's see how these are created. Similar to quotations, preparing rentals is very easy. Simply specify who the customer is and specify where you are delivering it to. If it's the same address, simply say it as the same billing address. Again, you can select what items you are renting for the customer. And if these are serial number based items, you can specify individual serial numbers as well. So you can choose what whatever serial number is available for you to rent, you can include them. If it's a long-term rental, you can simply specify that this is a long-term rental and that you're going to invoice at the end of the month. If it's a short-term rental, you can simply make it as a short-term rental by not selecting anything in here. You can include extra charges such as delivery or installation or damage waiver and things like that. And you can include them as part of your rentals. And when you create your long-term rentals, Vibrant creates 
all your invoices for the future. So it includes these initial additional charges with your first invoice and all future invoice being a constant number. And it includes what periods you're renting it. So because we decided to invoice at the end of the month, the first invoice is for the period from the beginning of the rental till the end of the first month, which in this case is 28th of February. And all subsequent months, Vibrant automatically calculates the rates for each month from 1st of March, 1st of April, and so on. This is how you create rentals. Once you have prepared your rental, you can post them immediately to your accounting system, or if your business process indicates that you invoice once a day or once a week or once a month and invoice them in bulk, then you can use this functionality within Vibrant to invoice your customers in bulk. So the month end invoicing takes literally less than a minute to process. So in Vibrant, we have a screen called Manage Posting that allows you to see all your unposted invoices in the system. You can then select single or multiple or select everything and you can do a bulk post to your accounting system such as zero. You can also send email confirmation with uh, a tax invoice and you can choose an invoice template or other templates and you can bulk post and bulk email to your customers. With Vibrant's Stripe integration, if your customers have provided card details, then you can also charge their card and process the payment at the same time. So you can simply click bulk pay and post and that will charge their card, process the invoice as a paid invoice and post it to your accounting system. So as you can see, this entire step can take less than a few minutes other than spending hours and days at the end of each week or each month, this invoicing is reduced to just a few minutes in Vibrant. Once you have invoiced your customers, you'll probably be going to customer sites and picking up, or they'll may, they may be returning equipment once the rental has concluded. Suppose you have delivery or um, drivers or others that go and do the um, runs every day and they go and collect equipment from various um, customers. You can process multiple returns at the same time. Suppose a customer has got multiple contracts ongoing and they are returning equipment, then you can process these multiple returns at the same time. In this rental return screen, you can search for a customer and the system gives you all kinds of equipment that the customer has rented on various rentals. You can simply select, okay, I have returned one of these and I can save this, I can process this, I can process this, I can process this, and I can simply click bulk return and that will mark those items as return. If they were returned on different days, say for example, if they were returned on February 10th, you can simply say these were returned on 10th of February and you can process the return this way. Vibrant has very strong inventory management functions. Let's see how inventory is tracked in your Vibrant system. You can maintain some basic details about your inventory, such as make and model of equipment, if it is relevant, and any bin location. Suppose you have a warehouse and you have 
um, equipment stored in various bins, then you can include those bin locations. You can track your inventory by either serial number, tracked or as bulk quantity. For example, if you're a furniture retailer, you may wish to track all your high-end um, lounge weight or um, your sofas as serial number assets and um, other smaller equipment um, such as um, cushions or rugs can be tracked as bulk quantity. You can maintain individual pricing such as your daily rate, weekly rate, monthly rate, etc. You can create your own period type in Vibrant and you can specify your pricing for these. For serial number items, you can also maintain your individual serial numbers and barcodes of each item. And Vibrant also allows you to track your reminders, such as registration renewal is due on such and such day and calibration due on such and such day. So all these are personalized to your needs. You can also track readings on your equipment, such as machine hours or mileage and other things can be tracked within Vibrant as well. As part of your inventory, you can upload photos and any documentation. For example, if you have um, um, manuals and um, occupational safety and health checklist or other documents related to your equipment, you can upload all of these in Vibrant as part of your inventory. At any point in time, you can check on the history of the item just to find out how often this item was rented say, in the last year or so. The system will come back and tell you that you rented out 27 times and that's the income it generated for you. This is a very, very quick snapshot, but Vibrant provides 30 plus reports giving you a deep analysis. If you wish to make this equipment available on your website as well, you can simply say, okay, I want to display it on my website. I will want to allocate into this category and I can save the details. Then this equipment will be made available on your website that is linked to your vibrant system. This is how you track inventory in your vibrant. You can enter inventory data into Vibrant using the inventory management screen that we just saw. Or you can also put in all your inventory data into an Excel template and import them into Vibrant. Vibrant allows you to download Excel templates. You can simply select separate download files for both serial number items and bulk items. Once you have downloaded the template, you can populate the template with relevant data. And you can simply choose that file and import it into Vibrant. So to import the file, it's as simple as downloading a template updating it with your inventory details and importing it back into Vibrant. In Vibrant, the system also provides functionality to bundle or, or prepare kits or prepare packages. For example, if you are a furniture rental business and you have like a living room package where you include a sofa set, an ottoman, a coffee table, a couple of chairs, and a console table, then you can create this as a package. Or if you are a machinery rental company and you have a scissor lift, then you can have a combo or a package that includes a scissor lift, a compressor, a generator, um, and an operator put together. So let's see how these are created in Vibrant. The kit or the package, you can specify what the name is and what income account and tax code you are including it for. 
then you can specify, okay, the scissor lift package includes a scissor lift, a generator, a three, four, three phase compressor, and few fence panels to make sure that the scissor lift is well protected. This is how you create kits in Vibrant. In Vibrant, you can have special pricing for your customers and products. We call this a pricing matrix. The pricing matrix allows you to specify individual pricing for customers and the products that they rent. If you negotiate a specific contract with your, some, some of your special customers with special rates for some of the products, then you can specify all of these things in Vibrant. And whenever you prepare quotations or rentals for these customers, Vibrant will automatically apply their relevant pricing. So let's see how this is done in Vibrant. The customer pricing matrix allows you to specify a customer. Now you can set the pricing either at a product category level or at an individual product level. With an individual product, you can specify the rates such as you know, we can raise daily rates. I can say we can get a daily rate of $40, etc. So you can specify all of these rates. Then whenever a quotation or rental is prepared for this customer and this product, Vibrant will automatically apply this special pricing. Vibrant allows you to maintain services or any uh, maintenance on equipment. So at the time of asset disposal, you have complete history of servicing or maintenance performed on your rental equipment. So let's see how this is done. The service schedule module in Vibrant allows you to select the equipment that you want to use for service or maintenance. You can specify the individual serial number. Then you can specify the service type. You can have um, different service type configured such as 20,000 kilometer service or 500 hour service or six monthly safety certification or regular uh, you know, portable toilet pump outs and things like that. So you can have different kinds of services um, established in Vibrant. Then for each of these service types, you can specify what spare parts you're gonna use spark plugs, air filters, timing belt, et cetera. And also any internal or external labor required. You can have some service tasks and um, such as air filter clean, oil and water change. All these are configurable by you and also any specific checklist such as you have updated the logbook or you have ordered replacement spark plugs, et cetera. Now, if this service is attached to a rental, you can specify what rental number it is. And then you can have the entire service charge um, charged to the particular rental and the customer by using the create WCA functionality in the service module. So this is how you create regular service history or maintenance records for your rental equipment. Vibrant includes a comprehensive mobile app that allows you to do a number of things. You can not only do deliveries and returns and maintain servicing history on your equipment. Vibrant also includes Google Map integration. You can capture data about your inventory and also prepare quotes and rentals. So let's see how this is done in Vibrant. As you can see, I have got the mobile app open. The mobile app allows you to prepare quotes and rentals. You can prepare a simple quotation by selecting the customer. And you can add items to the rental. You can select this item and then you can specify the quantity. And you can specify the pricing, etc. and you can prepare quote um, transactions like this.
You can save the details and you can email it to the customer as well. You can also prepare rentals directly. Now, your drivers or other delivery staff can use Vibrant to do deliveries and returns. So every day the system will list whatever the deliveries and returns to be done for the day. Or you can search for specific um, customer deliveries or returns. Now, if you need to know where to go, you can simply click map and that will open the Google map on your device and you know exactly where to go. Now, when you're at the customer side, you can simply click the view and that will open up that specific rental job. If there are any specific instructions, it will show it to you in the delivery details or pickup details. And then you can say, all right, have I got the right equipment? Yep, I've got the right equipment and therefore I can mark it as delivered. If you have barcode attached to your equipment, you can also read the barcode. Now, if you want to put in any comments, you can put in any comments. Vibrant also allows you to include checklists. For example, you may have different checklists for different purposes. And you can say, yeah, I've included those, like hydraulics are checked and power switches are clean. And then you can get your customer to sign up on the delivery. You can also take photographs. You can take as many photographs as you like. I'm just going to assume that I'm delivering my mobile charger. So I can take a photograph and I can upload that photograph as part of the job. And I can save all the details as part of the job. You can do the same on return as well. So you can compare the delivery photos against the return photos. And if there are any damages, you can charge your customers for those damages. This is how the mobile app is used. And let's see how the data flows into your vibrant system. So this is the rental that we worked on. I'm going to reopen that rental. The signature that I put in comes through here and the photograph that I took of my charger comes through. This is all immediate real time stuff. It's not something that you do offline and then bring it to the office and then upload or anything. It's all done real time. It integrates directly with your Vibrant application. Vibrant is a constantly evolving system. We endeavor to make new functions available every few weeks. In fact, in the last six to eight weeks, we have released almost nine new functionality within Vibrant system. And we're not stopping. There are a number of new initiatives already underway. Some of these are listed here, such as freight calculation based on distance. This allows you to calculate freight for your job based on the distance from your warehouse or from your starting point. Purchase ordering module that allows you to schedule purchases of the inventory and non-inventory items. GPS tracking basically allowing you to find out exactly where your equipment are at any point in time and record its movements if it is moved around the place by your customers and charge them accordingly based on the move. Also, in a few months time, you should be able to record your quotes and rentals simply using your voice control. This will allow you to create a quote very, very quickly while you're, while you are speaking to your customer on the phone or on the computer. Obviously, with the growth of um, online e-commerce and everything, Vibrant will be releasing um, a business-to-business -business marketplace, allowing rental businesses and other businesses to interact with each other using the Vibrant platform. 
our vision is in the next couple of years, Vibrant will be the place where businesses interact with each other for anything related to equipment rental. RFRE tracking, we are working on implementing functionality to enable RFRE tracking on your equipment so that when you're delivering furniture or other kind of equipment, you can simply scan and record what's going out and what's coming in. This will allow you to make sure that you have not lost any of your equipment while customers are. I'm happy to share with you any further details. If you wish to contact me, please note down my details and I'll be very happy to assist you with anything you require. Thanks very much for listening to this video and we look forward to assisting you.